Guys, look, I know I'm I'm terrible. I'm a terrible YouTuber. I do way too few videos, but this is going to be short and sweet. I'm not going to drag this out too much. Make sure to subscribe, though, because that's something that YouTuber always has to say. We're going to talk about three cover three videos. Well, yeah, let's say three cover three videos in this video, which are all amazing. Out of the Indianapolis Colts playbook, which has bunch offset, which has bunch of flex, my two favorite formations in the game. And also some other neat ones, which I will be doing some ebooks over for another YouTuber. You guys can be ready for that. I'll do some content about this on my channel as well. So all in all, some good stuff. I love this playbook. You guys will love it too. Let's go. Now jumping in, you guys can see that I'm currently in practice mode. And the play that I'm going to call will be this PA read. So I will just call this real quick. And on defense, we're going to come out in Tampa 2. But don't worry about it. We will audible to cover 3 buzz. Now the thing with cover 3 is it's... A terrible coverage in the game because that zone coverage in general is terrible but it is the best one out there and you will face this a lot so it's important to know how to beat this a number of different ways now I just want to point out that this is not the only play that you can do this out of out of bunch offset if you're running the Panthers playbook you've got this play also I, I forget what it's called but it's got that same same that same Z post route coming across the middle uh, just like this one right here wrong controller there you go just like this one on the circle right receiver, same play, it'll work the same way. Now, the way you used to previously do this, and this has been out for a while, I'm sorry that I haven't done a video on this yet, is you would streak Cobb, put Adams on his slant, and block the running back, and you could just run it this way. Now, you have to motion him out for it to work properly, so I will do that. You can see that on defense, I'm in a cover three, I'll just put these guys in spies to make sure they don't get shedded. So... Now, after all of that, we will snap this ball. I will take a few steps to the left. And now you will see how this is just wide open for an absolute bomb touchdown now. If you guys remember the previous two years, you could do this with cover two with it. If you just had a lone post route coming from one side and no route on the other. And it would kind of bomb cover two that way because the zone just wouldn't react to that post. You just wouldn't see it, basically. Now, this is a similar thing going on here. I will again audible to cover three and put these guys in spies to make sure that we don't have anyone coming through. Put do the same setup basically just like this. You can also block the tight end, but I just like this route from the tight end. Let's say that I get screamed at, I can throw this right here if he's running a cover three blitz or something. Now, if I get enough time, uh, did I even motion him out? I don't know if I did, but anyways, I would always motion out if I were you. That's just a good thing to do in this formation in general. I like motioning because this always makes my opponent think and sometimes if he overthinks it I will get another open play and, I, and also there are some plays in this formation which I will do an ebook on on this channel by the way uh, that have similar motions and it's always good to have that kind of consistently consistent consistency it's called window dressing where you do the same type of motion and it kind of looks the same but it's two different things absolutely love this play now let's get into one that everybody knows because I want you guys to be on top of that too out of verts you just put the uh, circle right receiver on the streak you're gonna audible to cover three buzz I'll once again block these people and now you will see how circle is going to get open far down the field I'll just wait I'll just wait and now you can see me throwing that up Lazar is not even the quickest but he gets by for a touchdown very very nice now I will do the same thing again and I just want you guys to pay attention to let me audible over here too nice I want you guys to uh, pay attention to this cornerback right here. This guy, Verrett, I want you guys to watch him, what he does. So I'm going to streak the... Uh, wrong, I got audible first. Where it's epic under. I'm going to streak this guy. Now I'm going to snap this ball. And you will see how he kind of reacts a little bit slowly. And this now allows me to throw that over the top. Now the nice thing about verticals in this case is that because we have the crossing right, actually I'll just... Uh, wrong play. Boom, boom, boom. Because we have this crossing route right here from the R1 right receiver, this now attracts some attention from the middle zone, which makes this touchdown even easier. Now, I want to kind of show you guys that this can also be done a different way. I want to streak the uh, tight end this time, and you can either keep Cobb on this crossing route, but you can also put him on a slant. Now, why would I do that? Uh, basically, because w the way that a lot of people defend that, they don't want to put a deep half out there. They're just going to man up your slot wide receiver or the uh, or the circle wide receiver. Whichever one 
they want to man up this now will beat that as well so i will just snap this ball right here tanin is not the quickest out there uh but he'll make his oh my god he'll make his way by uh sooner or later if you want you can also motion him out that's probably what i would do if i were you so i'm going to mo motion lazard out i'm going to go, uh, go to cover three buzz there we go i'm gonna put these guys in spies because i don't want them rushing at me so now this is going to be the play i will snap this ball we're getting bumped absolutely a hundred percent to the middle uh, but I can now throw that, and this is open. If you have a faster tight end, this is, of course, better. Robert Tanyan is not the fastest guy, and he's not the ideal guy that you want to have running this. Now, let's go over to the other play that I was going to talk about, or just the other concept, I would say. I want to go over to Bunch Y Flex. You want to come out in pretty much any play. I'll just come out. I'll just come out in Dig Return. Why, why the hell not? Why the hell not? So. Let's audible once again over to cover three. I'm gonna put these guys in spies. And now the only thing that you have to do is you have to put Jones on a wheel, put Tanya on a streak. And once again, Tanya, not the fastest. This won't be ideal for you. He's getting bumped into eternity. Wow, that was that was terrible. Actually, you know what? I might be messing this up. Maybe you have to run it with the bunch from the bunch where I flex to the short side. Okay, so let's now try this again. Let's try this again. I gotta go over to cover three buzz. Gonna put these guys in spies. Really cool, really cool. Just like that. And now you will see how this gets open. Absolutely butt naked. Wow. The crazy thing is that he's getting bumped so bad that he just can't even get off the line. So let's try this again. Gonna come over here into cover three buzz. Gonna base the line. Gonna move him all the way out to make sure that he doesn't bump him. Now this should really work. This, I mean, come on now. At this point, if it doesn't work, then I just might go home or I guess stay home because I'm already home. Wow, this this is not looking too good, guys. This is not looking too good. Maybe I gotta put. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm messing this up. This, you guys. Oh my god. Let's try this one more time, one more time, and then I think we're done here. Cool. Now I got a setup. Nice, nice, nice. This now should just be a wide open touchdown. Okay, cool. Now you can see how this is working. You have to put another streak or something like that on the right side, for on the bunch side for it to work properly. But yeah, let's just review this one more time to make sure we get it in our system because I clearly forgot how this worked because I was just in bunch of offset too much. You just put uh, this guy right here on a streak, the tight end on a streak, and the running back on a wheel. Absolute cover three killer one more time. I just want to show you this uh, one more time. Because I feel like I've messed it up so much. Just to ensure that this really does work. Going to make sure to not get bumped. If you have a faster tight end, he's not going to get bumped. Don't worry about that. So now I'm going to snap this ball. Get all the time in the world. And I am going to launch this. And you see how we get the yards again. Faster tight end means better results. That's just, that's just how the game works. I mean... I don't know what to tell you. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, that that bunch of reflex part was really scuffed. I apologize for that. But you can see, this works. I just hadn't run it in a while. The best thing that I showed you in this video, though, I think, is the different cover three beaters out of the bunch of offset. Because that's the most popular formation in the game right now. It's what I'm enjoying the most. I'm having the most fun with beating dudes. Gotta get the ultimate team better. I think I'll do some more grinding. Maybe I'll open another bundle because I just haven't had that much time uh, to really grind. Man, the game this year, it, it, it's impossible to grind for stuff. Man, let me tell you. But I'm going to stop whining. I'm going to end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below about any questions. If you did enjoy, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, hit the like button if you guys learned something today. If you have any questions, of course, down in the comments. Till next time. Goodbye, guys. I dragged this outro out so long. I'm sorry. I'm going to cut it right here.